Hey, what's up guys? Lots of stuff in the mail today. So I do a little unboxing, plus I saved this letter from uh, two days ago because I wanted to do them kind of all together. And this is going to be one of those like open on camera things. Actually, this one says uh, o o o c w para 2 and it was supposed to be open on camera with paramilitary 2 but I don't own my para 2 anymore <laughs> so that's okay I open it actually today's EDC and I will have an EDC video today it's gonna open work uh, today's the mini grip combo edge uh, all blacked out beautiful knife so let's see what else we got we have the letter I'm gonna open we have something from bootpepper.com that's the company that uh, does the stuff with the vertical candy and Get rid of this rubber band. Ow, snapped at me. Also something from, whoa, the whole mail pile is falling. Something else from West Virginia. And that's an open on camera, so we will do that as well. And something from the IRS for me. That's never fun news. I don't get tax returns or anything, so anything from the IRS is usually wah, wah, wah. Magazine. Not interested, Stash T Company. Ooh, something from the Case Collectors Club. I'll open that, see what that's about. And a package from Madison Chocolatiers West. Yes, I saw a video um, from Ted the Fire Breathing Idiot, Ted Barris. I've talked about him before, gave him shout outs. And he did something from this company that I had to try. You know, sometimes you watch a YouTube video and you're like, I gotta get that, that looks amazing. There was something he did that specifically I really, really am interested in trying. I will have a video on it. I'll talk more about that when I open this box. Sorry about the background noise. Gus is eating his lunch quite loudly. Even though he's like 20 feet away right now. I can hear him flopping his food everywhere. Um, all right, where, where to start? Let's open this first. This is the uh, stuff from the Case Collectors Club. And let's see what this is all about. See what we got here. All right, right the garbage. Another copy of the 2012 Summer Product Guide. The very nice slip joint on the front there. I don't know. Did I go through this one yet? I don't know if I did the Summer Guide in my first video. Uh, it looks familiar. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But they sent me another copy of that, as well as. See what's right in here. Okay. Um, let's see. Case Collectors Club. This is volume two. I'm not sure. I don't have the other one in front of me. I'm not sure if this is the one I already got or if this is another one. A different slant on knife design. Obviously showcasing that slant bolster uh, in this specific case, some orange bone. But the slant bolster is one of their new, you know, innovative product line. So it's interesting. Let me see real quick here. I don't know if this is the one I already read or not. And it looks like it's not. Maybe the first one was volume one. Yeah, no, I didn't read this one yet. Ah, cool. Okay. Is that something new? Moving on. <laughs> All right, let's open this letter because I've been sitting on this for two days. And I want to see what's up with this. Hey, Gus. You all full? All right. So, we got a long letter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All kinds of stuff falling everywhere. Like that and that. Wow. That's a long letter. <laughs> all right. It's going to be a long video. Okay. Dear Mr. Smith, my name is Matt and I'm 16. Uh, through your channel, I have gotten into many hobbies with knives being most my most loved one. I feel like you are just an honest, down-to-earth guy who tells it as it is. In my, in my small amount of time in the knife community, I have progressed through the knives you have suggested, like the Skyline and the Para 2. I now carry the Para 2 and like it a lot. I also had the Manix 2 light, uh, lightweight translucent, ver translucent version until I traded it for three case knives and a shrade. Uh, my knowledge on knives, uh, my knowledge on all things knives has grown exponentially thanks to you and others like you. After seeing your video on the SE3, 
I am now saving up for one. I picked up the Lansky sharpening system after you reviewed it. This has given me a hair popping edge, excuse me, hair popping edge in combination with the Stropman Compact HD Strop. Uh, I was one of the winners of your friend Steve's giveaway of the case knife. I'm happy to say uh, that this is what got me into the WR Case and Sons knives. I really appreciate all the other videos that you do besides knives. Guns, uh, flashlights, life lessons, and story times are my, among some of my favorites. Some people may want you to stick to blade reviews only, but I love the plethora of video you put out, or of videos you put out. I hope you like the pictures I drew you. I was really bored one night and it is distracting me from math homework. Uh, now for a business proposition. I've had this idea for a while now and would like to see what you think about it. My idea is that I would like to make necklaces out of hand polished 223 brass casings that I have shot. I would drill a hole uh, through the end near the primer end and run some 550 through it. I like this idea of lanyard breakaway connectors on it, uh, but those are pretty expensive. I believe that you could sign them after I make them. Then with an endorsement slash advertisement on your channel, uh, I could sell them and split the profit with you. I think that this would be a pretty good seller and we could price them low enough so nobody would second guess buying one. Uh, this idea started when I saw when I saw about your dental... Mm, I lost my spot. Darn it. Uh, I don't know. I completely missed my spot. It's not your fault. You're writing straight and everything. I'm just not all there today. Oh, yes, I know. I know. All right. <laughs> Gosh, he's like, come on, get on with it, man. Uh, this idea started when I was about, oh, this idea started when I saw about your dental situation. Obviously, this won't get you uh, the money, but every bit helps. Thanks for all your help and your consideration. Your friend, Matt. And Matt's YouTube name is Knife Gun Second Amend. So N, uh, excuse me, K N I V E G U N, the number two N D A M M E N D. Um, and he's got a blade form name, Conservative Knives, and his email, which I'll keep private. And well, to answer your question, I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, you you can sell them for yourself. I don't I don't have any interest in in selling them with you because I don't want to. I mean, it's your idea. I don't want to take your money or anything. Um, but I think something like that would certainly sell. People in the gun community like all kinds of accessories, and people in the knife community love stuff like that as well. So I think it would be a hit. There's plenty of other people who do similar stuff, not exactly that. But um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would be really interested in it. So if you want to do that, go ahead. And if you want to make a you know, video response or something, any of my videos to like promote it or something, sure. Absolutely. Um, oh, cool. Wow, it's a great drawing. Kershaw Skyline. Oh, Gus. All right, I'll take a break for a second because he has to take a dump. As soon as he eats, he's got to go right out. He's got yesterday's meal. Oh, cool. And of course, a spider co Parrot 2. Oh, it hurts so good. All right, guys. I'm going to go take care of Gus, and I'll be back to do the rest of these unboxings. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Gus is a good boy. If he has to go to the bathroom, he lets me know, and I can't I can't deny him or make him wait. So anyway, moving on. I'm gonna open let's open this one next. This is the package from bootpepper.com. And let's see what we got here. Well, I know what's in here, but you don't, and you will find out in a second. And we have after I tried the vertigo candy. I was really interested and I wanted to try something else on their website. There's only one thing specifically I was interested in. They sell a, a bunch of cool stuff, a lot of ghost uh, pepper related products. Um, what would be really good too if a lot of people are interested in with cooking um, with uh, you know super hots, they have the ghost pepper chili powder, which would be great. You can use that on anything really. You can even put it straight on pizza. That would go pretty light with it if you really want to enjoy your food. But anyway, yes, this is one thing that I was extremely interested in. In trying is their um, hot watermelon candy. All right, or spicy watermelon candy. And I am going to do a review on this. The ingredients are sugar, water, glucose, citric acid, magic flavors again. But this is only made with uh, Buccalocius. Okay. 
So I really want to compare this to the Vertigo Candy because the Vertigo Candy, which I still have here, which I did have another piece yesterday, because I, I don't keep anything sweet in my house anymore because I'm trying to eat better and stuff. I don't have like cake or cookies or ice cream or anything. So I got a pretty good sweet tooth yesterday and I knew this was sitting here and I'm like, oh God, like I have to endure all that pain just so I can enjoy that little bit of sweetness. But the candy was worth it. I ended up suffering again yesterday. Um, but I want to try this because this is going to be a less uh, intense candy. Now it does have the Bucciolocchi in there, so I don't know exactly how much, you know, is in there or how much spice this will actually contain. I thought the candy was really good, so I can't wait to try this. I'm going to review this to see if it is um, significantly different because I'm looking for, you know, a candy I can enjoy every now and then with a little bit of a burn because I am a chili head. I like that, but I don't want to be blown away every single time I have a piece of candy, you know. So, um, like the Vertigo stuff, it's great. Like, you know, you have it, you give it to your friends and your family, and they go, oh, my God, ah, it's so hot. And everyone runs around, everyone's laughing. Ha, 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 it's a fun time. That's kind of a one-time deal. You know, it's, it's the novelty of being so extremely hot. But something like this, if you happen to like, um, you know, spicy foods, and in this case, spicy sweets, you can at least enjoy it more often. So we'll see about that. So I will definitely review that. Now... I'm going to show you what Morgan sent me in from West Virginia. Open on camera. There's the camera. Just opened it. Open it on camera. All right. Let's see. Um, why? Why? You always got to be the center of attention, huh? Let's see if I can lift you up. Give you an, oh, oh, now you're running. Now you're running. <laughs> See, he wants to be a camera hog. Well, he wants to play. He's used to, after his lunch, we always play ball. And he actually plays fetch, which is unlike uh, a lot of bulldogs. They usually don't play fetch, but he loves it. I play with the uh, like a squeaky tennis ball. Oh, Gus. Got a film going. Got the video going. I know. All right, I'll be back again. Gus wants to play ball. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> okay, first thing I pulled out was this. So it looks like a drawing of a knife, perhaps a spider coat. Well, duh, duh. the other side says uh, cheap, cheap uh, drawing of a spider coat. So there you go. All right, um, read first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna read first. Okay, dear Jeff, I've been watching your videos for a long time. I love all of them and I think the weight that you lost is awesome. I'm trying to lose weight for myself. Uh, but it'll, that will take me some time. I decided I would send you this little packet so you can try some new things. I included some candy and some little knives that maybe you can review them or give them away. Uh, I think that you like the Steelers, so I put a card in the box. Hope you like the drawings. I spent a lot of time trying to get them just right. Uh, I also took time to make that little straight blade Spyderco knife. I think it would be awesome to have a Spyderco, but I don't have that much money uh, to buy one since they're like 60 bucks. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the package. I'm only 13, so I couldn't buy much, but here you go. Sincerely, Wesley. Wesley's YouTube name is Jumpy Motion Pictures. Um, just how it sounds. J-U-M-P-Y-M-O-T-I-O-N-P-I-C-T-U-R-E-S. And his real name is Wesley. Well, you don't need to know his last name. <laughs> but Wesley, thank you very much. Let's see what we got. A red box. Like Christmas. Ah, cool. All right. Here's the deal. I am a huge Giants fan. Always have been. Although I didn't watch that much football this year. I watched a lot more NASCAR than, than football. Um, now, to me, NASCAR is something I can watch by myself. Football is kind of something you want to watch like in a group. At least for me, I like cheering with like a group of people. Anyway, um, besides the Giants, though, if I have to pick a second team, it was def it would definitely be the Steelers. And he sent me a Troy Palomalo um, card. And this guy is amazing. If you've never seen him before, um, extremely religious. Every single time he does something, he always gets on a knee and prays to God and all that stuff. And I forget what his religion is, but I think that's why he doesn't. He has really long curly hair. But I think he doesn't cut the hair because of his religion. Regardless, he's an amazing football player. You know, he's on one side of the field before the play's over. He's on the other side of the field. He's just all over the place. Great football player. So that's pretty cool. You know, I think I have um, sports cards somewhere. If I can find it, maybe make a video on it. Because I don't know what I even have. I used to collect baseball cards, football cards, um, hockey cards at one point. I was a huge hockey fan. A hockey fan. 
I was a uh, New York Rangers fan for probably five years, really hardcore. I had shaved in the back of my head in like fifth grade. And then I was a Devils fan because my friend's mother, my friend was rich and she was like really good friends with the Devils manager. And like we used to go to the games <laughs> and like meet all the players and stuff. So I got like a jumped on the bandwagon. It was like seventh grade. And I, I went and I was a huge Devils fan. But anyway, let's see. Oh, my phone's charging. That's good. Okay. Anyway. Oh, nice miscellaneous candy. Uh, and I was just saying before, I never keep sweets in the house. And this is actually it, really good. I happen to really like, you know, it's funny. I really like this candy. I like Tootsie Rolls and you know, there's hard candies and stuff and Juicy for old school gum, which is really good. But um, since I know, I actually had this conversation recently with my friend Laura. Since I haven't had um, like a lot of sweets or like really, really good food in such a long time, the simplest things really get me excited. Like I had a piece of wheat bread the other day, like for breakfast, I was on a run and I grabbed some fruit and I, and I had some fruit at the house and I grabbed a piece of a dry slice of wheat bread. And I usually don't have bread in the house. And I had it like on the road while I was walking to work. And just one old, just like multi-grain piece of crap, healthy piece of bread. It tasted delicious to me because I haven't had bread in such a long time. So it's just funny how that works. But yes, this will definitely come in handy. And I will certainly eat it all. So thank you for that. Oh, cool. Here's the, the Spyroco he's talking about. He made one out of... Uh, Paper and you put some tape over it so it's more rigid. That's pretty neat. And oh, it's got some some knives in here and another piece of paper. Let's see. Get that. Someone's gonna call me. That's so annoying. Cool. You sent me some folders. Maybe I'll review these. That's cool. Reminds me of a, um, a Fury brand knife. It was a design that was just like this. It's actually pretty comfortable. I know it's like a cheapo knife. It's just trying to write in the blade, but that's, it's actually it's pretty comfortable in the hand. Um, and there's two more here. There's this one, a little bit on the sift side. I'm going to liner lock. It's cool. And what's on the back there? Looks like a bunch of glue. Maybe that's why. <laughs> that, that could be why it's on the stiff side. But I'll take care of that. <laughs> I know. I just smelled the knife. I think it's candle wax. Not sure why. And then uh, another one. Little pocket knife. So cool. Maybe I'll, I'll save these and I'll do some kind of video in the future comparing. I'll do like an update video comparing like good knives, cheap knives, and and why maybe you pay like a little bit more. What are some things that you critique in knives? Stuff like that. So... That was really cool. And a drawing. Box 17. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That was very, very thoughtful of you to send that to me. So thank you. Um, the last thing here, I think, I had a bunch of stuff going on. I had to keep cutting because of Gus. He had to take a crap. Then he wanted to play. And he's right here. I don't know if you just heard him again. Sitting on my feet. He's bored. You know, I leave for work in the morning. I come home. He gets all excited. I'm home. And like I have to do YouTube stuff. And he looks at me like, what is the deal? You were just gone all day. You're not going to come home and like hug me and play and run around. Right? Right? He just rests his face on my leg like, come on. Let's do something. I know. Almost done. Almost done. All right, last package here is from Renee at the Madison Chocolatiers West, addressed to Colonel Jeff Smith. I like that. When uh, I don't, I don't um, use the prefix Colonel in a lot of stuff yet because I know if I start using it like on a regular basis, I have to change like my important documentation. I, ha I do have a will, and I have a like. Um, you know, lawyers, paper type stuff, and that stuff would have to be transferred over officially to Colonel Jeffrey Smith if all the legal stuff. So I'm trying not to use it as much, but who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll switch over and start using it. But anyway, bum, 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 bum. more knife action, a little griptilian, and we will see what's in here. I know one thing that's in here, and the other things will be a surprise to you. I already told you that. Well, I didn't tell you the one, did I? 
The one was the um, Sensational Truffles, which uh, Ted Barris did, and it looked amazing. So I can't wait to try that. The other stuff I'll show you right now. Okay. So some bubble wrap, which is nice. And check this out. Cryo packs. This is still still chilly. This is to keep the chocolate from melting. This is a professional company here. This ain't no schleppy something or other. I mean, they're on top of it. I don't know what those things cost, but that's nice. Actually, I don't know if you can reuse those. I might save that. <laughs> Use it for my cooler or something. Very, very well packed. And here we go. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. <laughs> it's exciting. Got some business cards here. Um, yep, the Madison Chocolatiers West. Awesome. Okay. And on top, seems like the invoice. Yep, order form. Okay. And. Um, ooh, looks like a little menu. Cool. Man, they got some interesting stuff in this company. Really interesting. So you will definitely see reviews on all the stuff that's in here. So let me break it out and stop talking about it and just show you. They really package everything really, really well. All right. So first thing here, a little package of uh, foiled chocolates. These are the I Hob a Hot Date. Okay, these are the habanero uh, chocolates. Ingredients are dark chocolate, peanut butter, and dried peppers. So, and there's actually even one of those scanny things on there. If I use my my uh, iPhone properly, I'm sure I can scan that. It would go right to their internet page or something. Some kind of like new age voodoo. I don't know. I don't, I don't really use my phone and apps and stuff like that, but I would assume that's what it is. But nice little package here. Some colorful. Actually, it reminds me of Easter colors. And we have another one. Another package like that. Um, here's the Scorpion Stinger Caramels. Winner of 2012 Fiery Food Challenge. And again, I also saw Ted Barris do a video on these. And um, watching him... It's like anything else. If you watch a food channel or food videos and someone's going like, oh, mm, it's so good. Oh. Like you're you're like, oh my God, I have to have that like right now. But uh, supposedly very, very hot as well. Ingredients on this one, butter, dark and milk chocolate and white chocolate, uh, brown sugar, sweetened condensed milk. Oh, it sounds delicious already. Corn syrup. Of course, this one has the scorpion and maruga scorpion peppers. Uh, vanilla. Um, I like vanilla. I was going, uh, because of the marugas. You know my experience with marugas. And uh, here's another pack of those. And, okay, here's the sensational truffles. Or uh, sensation truffles. And it's just really, really fascinating. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on this, so I don't want to get too much in, um, you know, into what it is. But, it's certainly going to be an experience, to say the least. So you will definitely see a review on this and the other stuff too, but this is one I'm most looking forward to trying. It's just gonna be awesome. And then also, let's see here. The Sweet Burn Butter Toffee. So a huge fan of toffee as well. Wow, all right, the ingredients on this toffee Butter, sugar, dark chocolate, corn syrup, bacon, toffee and bacon, how can you go wrong? Chili peppers, um, as well as ghost chili peppers, so there's other kind of peppers in here as well. Just amazing, and there's these little fresh packs in each one of these, you know, packets of stuff here. So, I mean, very professional. My initial impressions are extremely professional uh, company. But uh, also instructions with the Sensation Truffles because it is an experience and you have to eat it properly. You can't just go downing it. So uh, you'll see what that's all about too, but these little nibs on top, that little chocolate nipple on that delicious candy booby is uh, something special. 
And uh, I'll talk all about that in the review, but it gives you an experience like anything else you've ever had. And I can't wait to have that experience. So I'm gonna do that pretty soon, maybe tomorrow or the next day, and I will do uh, some reviews for you. So anyway, thank you for bearing with me with this very long, very edited, I had to keep leaving, um, unboxing of many, many things. And uh, just thanks for you. thank you for your time, as always. And uh, I'm glad you enjoy the videos. And like I said, you will see, this is kind of a tease for future videos because you'll see videos on a lot of this stuff. So anyway, stay tuned for that and much, much more. And uh, I'll see you next time. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to you soon.